Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers about Java Maps. They want to know if there's a way to create a map with a constant set of keys that can't be changed at runtime while still allowing the values to be modified. This is a common scenario for developers who need to maintain a fixed structure but want flexibility in the data they store. So, let's dive into the details of this question and explore potential solutions together. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. To create a map with an unmodifiable key set but modifiable values, we can use a combination of a standard map and a custom wrapper. First, let's define our custom map class. This class will extend the standard hash map and override the put method to enforce our key immutability. In the put method, we will check if the key exists. If it does, we allow the value to be updated. If it doesn't, we throw an unsupported operation exception. Next, we need to provide a way to initialize our map with a predefined set of keys. We can do this by passing a collection of keys to the constructor. Finally, we can create an instance of our immutable key map, passing in the desired keys. This will give us a map where the keys are immutable, but the values can be modified. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The original implementation of collections to unmodifiable map does not allow overriding methods like put or replace, ensuring security. There are two potential solutions. One involves using reflection to access the original map, which is considered a smelly option, and the other involves copying and modifying the source code of static classes in java.lang.collections which is seen as ugly. An initial implementation of the second solution is provided. It creates an unmodifiable key set map class that implements the map interface, allowing for a read-only view of the specified map while preventing modifications. The unmodifiable keyset map class includes methods for size, is empty, contains key, and get, while throwing unsupported operation exception for modifying methods like put, remove, and clear. It also provides unmodifiable views of keyset, entry set, and values. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create an unmodifiable key set map in Java, start by defining a semi-mutable map interface. This allows controlled access to the map while maintaining flexibility. Next, implement this interface in a class called Semi-Mutable Map. This class will manage the underlying map and provide methods to get and set values. Remember to clone the map in the constructor to avoid reference issues. You can also customize the class further by adding additional methods. Alternatively, 
you can adapt the existing unmodifiable map from the collections framework. This allows you to create a tailored implementation that meets your needs. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Consider using Google Guava's immutable map with mutable value types. Remember, immutability means you can't reassign objects, but you can still modify the objects inside the map. For example, if your value type is atomic integer, it's already mutable. If you need a partially mutable map, create a wrapper type for your values. Here's a simple wrapper class. You can enhance it with encapsulation as needed. Then, create an immutable map using this wrapper. When using the values, remember to unbox them from the wrapper. This approach may not suit everyone, but it can be effective in many cases. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This code demonstrates how to create an unmodifiable keyset map in Java. It defines a class with an enum for keys and a private unmodifiable hash map. The contains key method checks if a key exists, while the get method retrieves the value associated with a key if it exists. The put method allows adding values only if the key exists, otherwise it throws an exception. The keyset method returns an unmodifiable set of keys. Finally, the values method returns the collection of values from the unmodifiable hash map. And that's it guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.